Hey girl, hey. So today I'm here reviewing another wig from samsbeauty.com. This wig is the Vixen Y by the company It's a Wig. So it's supposed to be 100% human hair premium mix. It has a three-way lace part. So there's a U-shaped lace parting here in the front, and then there is a lace parting that goes straight down the back. Hence the Y-shaped Vixen parting on this unit. <laughs> um, what else is notable to note? This is in the color TTP1B slash 30 slash bronze. So it's a really pretty colorway, perfect for doing all the kind of styles you can do with the Vixen unit, you know, braids, buns, ponytails, etc. I really love this color when I saw it on the website, so I wanted to give it a shot. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm definitely gonna do a close up of it for you guys. This says that it's a yakky straight texture. Um, I don't feel much yakky in it. It's very silky. It's very smooth. But, yeah. So I'm not sure that I see the yakky in it. But the hair feels really good. It's very soft. It doesn't have an unnatural sheen or anything. And I'm sure that has to do with the fact that it's a human hair, 100% human hair premium mix. Not exactly sure what the premium mix part is they threw in there. If it's human hair along with some other premium synthetic fibers. But yeah. So this unit sheds a lot. A lot, a lot. And I don't know if that's because there's so much parting space in it. And just like all the hairs didn't get removed you know in that process of creating the parting spaces or what but it does shed a lot so definitely um keep that in mind when you go to purchase this unit what else what else there's a little bit of lace across the front just enough to kind of secure the front edges down but you're not going to get any customization in the hairline you're not going to really be able to do much plucking or anything like that it does have combs there is a comb on either side of the u part and there is a comb two combs in the back on either side of the part that goes down the middle i would say it would be nice to have a, a comb here in the front to hold this section that the u part section down because this is not lace this u part section is not lace it is tracks um so it's not like you can do any parting or any anything in there to get any like customization. So it would be nice if, you know, there was something that could just like hold it down in the front as an option if one wanted. I would say this wig is semi big head friendly. I don't have my hair in cornrows. I literally just slicked it back and put it into braids on either side. And I got it to come all the way forward to the hairline, but it is snug and I did have to install the combs. So I'm sure if I had my hair actually braided down in cornrows, it would have a much better fit. So I would say that it's right on the brink of being big head friendly. <laughs> um, and as far as the Vixen construction of this wig cap goes, I do like it. Um, it is kind of limiting though as far as the kind of styles you can do because if I wanted to do like two French braids, I have to do it with a middle part, I mean with a side part and then you kind of have to like finesse around the U shape in the back, things like that, you know, so it's not bad. You just don't have as many options, you can't do like two sections in the front and do cute little things or anything like that. You can't do a braid across the front as easy. Just little things like that with the wide construction of the Vixen. But it is a neat idea. I do like that, you know, ultimately if I wanted to just wear the hair down, I just wanted to have a bun up top or a braid or a ponytail or something that, that is an option without, you know, track showing. So I have a part on either side. So that part is awesome. And then you still get, you know, you can do two buns, two ponytails, different things like that. In general though, with the Vixen parting, it is hard to find the parting once it's already on your head. And as you'll see in the clip, I put the powder on the inside of the wig to highlight the parting space. Um, so that helped a little bit for the front when I was trying to find it, but as far as the back part goes, it's really hard to fill your way through the part. So I would definitely suggest parting it and putting it into two sections prior to putting the wig on if you plan to wear a style where you want that part in the back. The wig did come 
already sectioned off so they have the top section and the two side sections secured in rubber bands so you could easily find it but once you take those rubber bands off it's hard to find the parting and you know it's not like on your own head or on a full lace wig where you can just part it wherever you want you want to get it pretty precise because I'll put a clip in but as you can see I got the top part pretty good up top when I did the two buns but on the bottom part I missed it and you can kind of see the tracks so you definitely want to be conscious of that when parting it. Um, other than that, it does not say whether or not it is heat safe. But I'm assuming, since it is a 100% human hair premium mix, that you can use heat on this unit. But like I say, it does not specifically say on the card or on the box if you can use heat. It does have nice layers, gorgeous color, beautiful feel to the hair. Not sure if it's heat safe. Definitely be conscious of finding your parting space when you are styling. Semi big head friendly. And I think that's everything. I think that is the gist of this review. Check out the description box down below for all of the details and a link to purchase this wig. Please drop any questions or comments as well. Please thumbs up and subscribe so you can stay tuned for more wig reviews and any other videos in general blah 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 i appreciate you guys and i will talk to you ladies soon bye